Hi, um, this is Tasha the Crafty Kraut, and I'm going to try to zoom in here. I'm going to show you how to make poppy flower, poppy gum paste flowers. So what you're going to need is you're going to need um, a round or an oval um, cookie cutter. You're going to need a um, veining mat, or this is for a stem mat. Um, you're going to need a, um, a veining um, tool. This is like a little plastic um, thing. You put the flower on there and you press it and it'll imprint the vein, the veins of it. Um, you're going to need gum paste, a roller, my little spatula, and a ball tool. And I have taken some gum paste and I put it in hot water to make glue. That way you don't have to buy glue. I have um, some cornstarch, some um, Crisco, and a deviled egg carton or a deviled egg holder. And I'm going to use this to um, put my um, flowers in so that they can dry. So here's what you're going to do. You want to keep your gun paste covered so I have mine under a cup. You're going to roll. Gun paste. You want to make sure um, when you're not using the gum paste that you um, keep it covered because it does um, dry out pretty quick. I just have this uh, little mat that I use to do my work on. And you're going to roll out your gum paste. You want it pretty thin. I'm not sure if you can see here, but when you roll it out, you'll see the vein is a little darker. So you want to make sure it's nice and even. Now I'm gonna. I've taken my round um, cutter and I make. I squeeze it together a, little, uh, together a little bit to make it a little more oval. And then I'm gonna line up the bottom part with the um, with the place where the stem will be. Okay. So put that back in there. Okay. So now I'm gonna pick up my my flower, and this is what the back of it's gonna look like. It's going to have um, this little flap here. Oh, and you do need um, some flower wire. And you can buy that um, at Joann's or Michael's. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the stem here. You want to make sure that it does not show through the front. And then I just pat mine down. And you want to dip it into your gum paste um, liquid so you can use it as glue. Now I put it on my impression mat, and now I'm going to firmly push down, and now it has an impression. So now I'm going to put it on my little mat here, and I'm going to use my roller, and I'm just going to roll at the very ends of it. So your roller is going to be half on the flower and half on the mat, and I'm just going to roll all the way down. Okay. All right. And so that's what it'll look like. Kind of hard to see. So this is what it's going to look like. And now I'm making a lot of them, so I have um, a couple egg, deviled egg holders. So I'm going to put it in here. Now I'm going to push down um, at the base of the stem, and I'm just going to fold it over. And I'm going to let these dry. And sometimes it'll go over, but that's OK. So as you can tell, they're kind of hard to see because they're white, but you want to start out with a white flower and then you can color it any color you want. Um, if you want to start out with a darker, like a, if you want a red rose, you can start out with red, but it's going to be a little more hard to kind of make it pop to add color unless you make it like a dark, dusty rose. So we're going to repeat this. And the poppies there's a bunch of different ways to do them. I've seen some on the internet. Some of them have six petals. Some of them have three petals. Mine, um, they have about, I guess I use about seven, seven to eight petals. So you want to, you want to dip your your stem into the water. You want to dry it off a little bit. You don't want it too wet. And then you want to insert it here. 
And you want to do it as close to the back as possible so you don't see it through the front. And squeeze it. Yeah, that one's a little better. Now they are very delicate, so you know, just work quick and be very careful. And I'm just doing one at a time. You can get like a, um, a pasta roller and roll out your gum paste and I guess cut a bunch of them at one time bunch of them at a bunch of them at one time and then just um, work up you just got to make sure that you keep them covered with a heavy um, silicone or some kind of mat so that they don't dry out while you're working on them right. okay this one oops a little trouble with this one here All right, so that's how you do it, and then I will um, show you the next step once I'm once these flowers are dry. So what you want to do, you want to let them dry at least overnight. That way they're nice and hard. Um, you can paint them when, once it's together. And again, um, once I'm done with this, I'll show you how to make this stamen, stamen, stamens, I believe it's called, the inside part of the flower. And I'm going to actually do that with thread. Um, it'll look, actually looks pretty neat. So um, I'll come back and show you how, how you do that. But for right now, go ahead and make your petals, and I'll see you back in a few.